Hi boys and girls, this is Mr. Crandall, and today I'm going to be reading a non-fiction text to you, and as we read this, I'm going to point out some of the features of a non-fiction text, like we just talked about. So, enjoy! Today I'll be reading to you from this science textbook. And a textbook is a book that you might use at school uh, to help you learn about a topic, in this case, science. Now here we've opened our textbook and we see part of the table of contents. Lots of books have a table of contents. The table of contents tells you where you can find certain things. So for us, we would like to know what is a forest habitat. That's what we're going to read about. So I look at my table of contents and I see that it's here. Lesson 1, what is a forest habitat? And what page are we going to find that on? That's right, page 31. So let's get to it. Okay, so first I'm just going to read the content of this page, and then we'll go back and point out some of the features of nonfiction. So here we go. Lesson 1, what is a forest habitat? A habitat is a place where plants and animals live. A habitat has food and water. A habitat has air. A habitat gives shelter for plants and animals. A forest is a habitat. A forest has many trees and other plants. This raccoon lives in the forest. Now, at the top of the page here, it says, Lesson 1, What is a Forest Habitat? That's a heading, and it helps you understand what this page is going to talk about. So the main question is, what is a forest habitat? And then these paragraphs below here are going to answer that question. You don't get very far into this before you find a word that is both bold and highlighted. And that word is habitat. So the author's wanting to really draw your attention to the word habitat. Another word that you see that's bold and highlighted? That's right, forest. So those both must be like vocabulary words that the author thinks are really important for you to know. Now down here at the bottom of the page, we see a photograph of a raccoon. And over here next to it, these words are called a caption. So the caption tells you more about the photograph. And it says, this raccoon lives in the forest. So, you know, they thought you needed to know that this raccoon lives in the forest, not that this is just some random raccoon that lives in your neighborhood. Watch out for those. So now we're on to the next page in our text, and just like the previous page, I'm going to read it first, and then we'll go back through and talk about the text features. Forest Plants and Animals Look at the forest in the summer. Animals get the food they need. Animals get the water they need. Plants get the sunlight they need. Plants get the rain they need. This black bear lives in the forest. Now, this page didn't have anything that was bold or highlighted, but that doesn't mean that this page is unimportant. At the top, we have a heading, Forest Plants and Animals. So that tells me that this page is going to be about forest plants and animals, yeah. Now, down at the bottom, we have another photograph. This one is of a bear, and there's a caption with it that says, this black bear lives in the forest. So the page is all about forest plants and animals. The picture at the bottom is of a bear, and the caption explains that this black bear lives in the forest. Now over on the right-hand side of the page, there's a picture of a deer, and the grass is all green, and the trees have leaves, and at the top of that picture it says summer. So the author wants you to know that this picture was taken in the summer. And here we go again. I'm going to read the page to you first, and then we'll talk about any text features that we might find. Look at the forest in the winter. How does the forest change? Plants get less sunlight. Many trees lose their leaves. It is harder for some animals to find food. Map Facts Superior National Forest is in Minnesota. Now again, this page did not have any words that were in bold or that were highlighted, and this page didn't have a heading either. That's because the author is still telling you about forest plants and animals, so there's no need for a new heading. 
Now, over here, on the left side of this page, there's a photograph of a deer, and it looks different now. The ground is all white, and the trees don't really have the leaves like they used to. Well, that's because this picture was taken in winter, so this caption tells you that. Uh, here we've got this thing that says Map Facts National or Superior National Forest is in Minnesota. Um, that's just got a little map on it, and it's got the state of Minnesota highlighted to show you where this picture was taken. Now let's go back in the text to one of the first pages we read that said, what is a forest habitat? On this page, we found the words forest and habitat, both of them in bold print and highlighted. Now a lot of times, when a word is in bold print or highlighted, that means you can find that word in the index or the glossary. So let's turn to the back of our book and see if we can find them. An index is used to tell you what page you can find certain key words on. Some of those words might be highlighted or in bold. And it, let me zoom in here. Forest, right there. It says we can find it on page 26, page 31 through 33, and page 44. The section we were reading called What is a Forest Habitat was on these pages, 31 to 33. So that's the index. I think glossaries are really cool. A glossary is kind of like a dictionary. It's going to have definitions, not every word, of course, but of some of those key words in a book. So the word habitat was highlighted, it was in bold, and look at this, here it is in our glossary. Now in some books, uh, the glossary might have pictures to go with it, and others it might just be words with the definition. But here we can see habitat, a habitat is a place where plants and animals live. And then there's an example. A deer lives in a forest habitat. We can find that on page 31. Thank you for joining me for this lesson on text features in nonfiction. I hope that you learned a lot and had a great time. See you later.